What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. Samurott raids have just come to a close, which means Nintendo and the Pokemon Company have just announced our next round of Black Crystal Terror raids. So of course, today I'll be going over all the details so you know exactly what to expect. Also, if there is a line going across my entire forehead, just ignore it. I was in cosplay up until I filmed this video because I was streaming and they always announce these raids while I'm streaming on a Sunday. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into our next round of Black Crystal Terror raids. Bye. So three hours ago, Cerebi tweeted out this update that says the next 7-star Terra Raid battle has been fully revealed. Battle against Ghost Terra Type Typhlosion. So it looks like we were all correct, and they are giving us all of the quote unquote Legends Arceus starters, even though none of them are actually in their Hisuian forms. However, maybe they were trying to kind of go for Hisuian Typhlosion with this one since they did give it a Ghost Terra Type, and Hisuian Typhlosion is a Ghost Fire Type. Or maybe they are actually doing what some other people were suggesting and giving them Terra Types that would be good against their Hisuian forms. But this raid will be running from April 14th through the 16th and April 21st through. April 23rd. So these are actually going to start this coming Thursday. So they're coming up quick. It's time to start building some Pokemon. Once again, it seems like I will be pokey broke. And just checking here on their website to see if they have any more insight, it says the next seven star Terra Raid battle event has been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This event will feature a battle against Typhlosion with a ghost Terra type and the mightiest mark. It can only be caught once per save file, which we already know that at this point, since all of the seven stars are only one per save file, but you can still farm the raids, which the Samurott raids were not bad to farm. I was able to get a ton of different treasures and of course, vitamins which are one of the most expensive things that I have to buy on the regular because of these seven star terror raids. So I appreciate the fact that we can still farm these raids after we get the featured Pokemon. And once again, this event will run from midnight UTC on April 14th, which is why technically they start on Thursday evenings for us here in the States and go through 1159 UTC on April 16th. And of course, repeat on April 21st through the 23rd for round two. This is completely unrelated, but somebody literally posted this meme that says, bro thinks he's in Hisui. I'm crying. This is gold. This, maybe I'm delusional or something, but I laughed a little bit too hard when I saw this meme. <laughs> and it looks like some people are kind of echoing the same thing that I was saying that maybe they are going based on that theory that they are trying to give us counters to the Hisuian counterparts of each of these Pokemon with this person here saying kind of shocked they went with Ghost, but also makes sense to go along with the theory of being strong on the Hisuian counterparts. Just a little weird that it shares a type with its Hisuian form, but seeing as it learns no dark moves, this is better. And some people are also speculating that we might be seeing Pokemon Home Connection soon since they just finished the Hisuian starter trio. However, based on its typing and its movesets, it does look like this raid might be a little bit trickier than what it seems seems like at first glance because Jotonian Typhlosion does learn Shadow Ball. So a lot of people were kind of throwing out like, oh, let's just bring Ghost type since Ghost is super effective against Ghost. Well, it's most likely gonna have Shadow Ball on it for that exact reason. And according to this user here, it can also learn Focus Bless, which means it also has a counter for Dark types. So it looks like we're definitely gonna have to do some thinking when it comes to counters for this upcoming raid. But there you have it. That is all the information we have so far on our next seven star Black Crystal Terror Raid. Leave a comment down below in the comment section what you're thinking about building for this upcoming raid. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you were already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.